victim impact statements, correct? There are, Your Honor. Uh, Woodruff's grandfather would like to read his own statement and read uh, his son's statement into the record as well, and then I have a couple statements that I would like to read into the record if that's okay. For you. Absolutely. With your grandfather? You, go first. you want me to go first? Okay. Uh -huh. Your Honor, at this time, I'm going to read a statement from Wileen Cannon. This is um, Winter's maternal grandmother. Now, you have a copy of this, Your Honor. She did write a statement yes. to you, and she has a statement um, that she wants read as well um, for the purposes of, of being uh, directed to the uh, purposes of the defendant. Um, Your Honor, I would like to express my gratitude for allowing Rashad M. Trice the maximum sentencing possible for the heinous crime that he has committed. I don't believe that my life will ever be the same. It's been just over one year, and the hole in my heart is just as bit, just as bit as the day that this crime occurred. The loss of my granddaughter, Winter Ava May Cole Smith, was a brilliant, bright, and very affectionate toddler. She was so full of love. Winter even expressed phrases, I love you, to her, to her murder. I believe because he was part of her life that she had no choice in choosing. This act of pure evilness Rashad has committed is irreversible in its actions and cannot be forgiven. My granddaughter's life was taken before she had the chance to even know who she was, <coughs> use the potty, say complete sentences. Rashad took her life like an animal, the same way a four-legged beast takes the young of other wild animals in the jungle. Rashad had prior criminal behavior prior to leading up to Winter's death that I'm sure you know very well. I believe that the punishment was death penalty for murdering children. Perhaps this will help save and spare the lives of other children and adult victims as well. It appears that the majority of repeat criminals are very comfortable going back to jail and prison. Serving life without parole is Michigan's maximum sentence. I believe the death penalty would be a wake-up call to a lot of offenders, perhaps. I really wanted the death penalty for Rashad, but I appreciate the current sentence that he's receiving on this date. Rashad has no business in the outside world for the crime he has committed. He would only destroy more lives if given the opportunity to do so. I feel in my heart that justice has truly been served correctly for him on this day. I could not bear to be there in person. I can't bear to see his face without reliving that tragic date with such horror. I am trying to heal the best way I can because the pain of losing my granddaughter and the way she was taken from us is haunting. I have lost so many nights of sleep, reminded of what he did to my granddaughter and my daughter. Seeing him in person and hearing everything he did to her again, I feel will only slow down the process. So forgive me for not showing up in person and accepting this written statement today. You, Rashad M. Trice, truly deserve the death penalty for maliciously taking the life of Winter Ava May Cole Smith. You say you are a monster, but a monster is just who it is. And don't hide from the sinister things you do and create. You are an evil coward. And you live like a wild animal, so you should feel right at home for the rest of your life. You deserve where you are and where you are going. Winter did not deserve what you did to her, nor did to her mother. You should never be able to be around decent human beings after what you've done brought in hell. Your Honor, at this time, I will be reading a statement from Sharon Eddings. This is uh, Winter's father's, AJ's mother, so paternal grandmother of Winter. Uh, I will give a copy to the court of the full statement. I'll be reading a portion of it. Thank you. Your Honor, we stand before you today as a family, parents who have suffered an unimaginable loss. Our precious two-year-old granddaughter, Winter, was taken from us far too soon, leaving a void in our hearts that will never be filled. The pain of her absence is indescribable, and we are trying to piece together our shattered lives. As parents, we have always strived to raise our children with strong values and a deep sense of responsibility, not just for themselves and their future households, but for their community as well. Today, together, excuse me, we worked tirelessly to instill in our children the importance of giving back and being a positive force in the world. I regularly volunteered in the community sharing my skills and time with local Detroit schools. I dedicated myself to teaching STEM education, showing my son and his classmates how to code, while their father, my husband at the time, volunteered as a coach for police athletic league, PAL. 
We both wanted to ensure that our children and others could learn the value of hard work, discipline, and community, and community involvement while being present in their daily lives. We taught our children how to support themselves responsibly, even at a young age. Growing up, they played a lot of sports, and like most kids, they wanted some spending money. But with their busy schedules traveling with sports teams, they didn't have time for traditional jobs. We could have given them money when they played for AAU, but we wanted, that, we wanted to teach them how to raise their own. We knew it would mean more to them if we had just, than if we had just given it to them. Myself, AJ, Marquis, and our youngest, Jackson, would go to Gordon Food Service, buy fundraiser candy bars, and walk around the neighborhood. And the kids would explain why they were raising them. We, we made homemade pizza and sold slices, spending time with our children and teaching them entrepreneurship, showing them how to make something out of nothing instead of resorting to harming their communities to make money just to wear Nikes and Louis Vuitton. Sometimes I would make sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches in the mornings, which they would sell at the bus stop to raise money for snacks at lunch. We worked very hard to ensure that our children understood the importance of being resourceful, staying focused, and contributing positively to society. We also taught our children the importance of managing their emotions, resolving conflicts peacefully, and knowing when and how to express themselves appropriately, but also when to stand up appropriately. Their father and I supported them in sports, attended their games, and guided them through the challenges of growing up, always emphasizing the values of respect and maturity. That night, when, win when winter went missing, I took to social media and the community rallied around us. We are profoundly grateful to everyone who helped us in our search for her. During that time, they helped me locate and reach out to your family, and when I spoke with your uncle, later your mother, I got a glimpse into the environment you were raised in. When I asked your mother if you could have harmed my granddaughter, her cold and different response shocked me. She showed no concern for winter, only for you, as if your son's well, if her son's well-being was the only thing that mattered. She acted like Winter kidnapped you and was going to kill you. Some people raise their children with love, values, and a sense of community. Others, it seems, simply drag them up to 18 so they can wipe their hands of them without instilling any morals, values, or concerns for others. It's a, quote, me first mentality, a lack of empathy that leads to tragedies like this. You didn't just take Winter's life that night. You destroyed your future as well. You sold your soul, and if you, don't, and if you believe in anything at all, you must know that there is a price to be paid for what you've done, more than just serving time. Winter was better than you then, and she remain, remains better than you today. She will always be better than you. But for our family, it's time to hold our heads high, catch our breath, and begin the painful process of healing. There is nothing more we can do here. We will let nature take its course and let life unfold as it will. We want to thank the FBI, the multiple police departments, and the state authorities who treated us with dignity and respect. While we have been less than satisfied with the federal prosecuting team, particularly the lack of communication, we are grateful for the kindness shown to our family by the state. Finally, we want to express the deepest thanks to the community that has helped search for winter, for the prayers, the kind words, the support we received. We are forever grateful. Thank you, Your Honor, for your time. And please thank them for their statements. Tell them we all understand why they weren't here in person. And I will take everything they said into account. Thank you so much, Your Honor. The podium, Your Honor, please. We just need a moment. Just take your time, sir.
first name, Elmont Smith, A-L-M-O-U-N-T. Uh, I'm reading a statement on behalf of AJ. Um, i like to say I'm so proud of him of going back to school to finish what he left off at. That is something that me and the mother taught our kids to always finish where you left off at. Don't quit. <laughs> quitting, quitting and saying I can't was not in, in our household. It was not in our vocabulary. AJ, I'm sorry. His statement. What I want to say Forget why you know what you did, why you did it, and why you and why you didn't stop. A sweet, precious life that was going to be whatever she wanted to to be. No longer has the opportunity. Why? Because you thought you were something and you weren't. You taken out your mistakes and left my daughter alone. Didn't ever think about yours, but instead focusing on something that didn't that didn't need. In other words, that she didn't need you, or she or she never bothered you. You are a waste of space and never showed aggression towards me. But thinking because you put your hands on women and thinking you and I both are on the same level is crazy. I still remember when you sent inappropriate pictures and videos of your relationship when I didn't even know your name. And add with that, then you had the nerve to text me saying that you are a different person and you wouldn't harm my baby girl. You are a coward and a true definition of a, I can't say the words here, but whatever these words go in and out, you're Say the words, your head, these probably the best words, the best words you have with passion. Unless you, I can't say the other words, other, but in other words, he says, you will never be forgotten or forgiven. and hope you live a long life. Signed, Elmont Smith, St. Junior. This is for me. So many things to say. The big question is why. Why was my baby, Winter, my little angel, used as collateral? Why you hated my son, AJ, so much? We're not supposed to be here today. What, what was you thinking about that night? You were selfish. You didn't think about your son, which you left behind. You took a little angel away from me. Winter was my first She was my first blood and only my, my only grandchild. All I have is memories and images, images of her first day of going to kindergarten, elementary, middle, 
freshman day of high school and graduation, graduate from high school to pursue her life. As I've been reading about you, I feel the system should, should have never let you out from day one with the incident in Moreau. Where was your probation officer? My understand, two weeks before all this happened, you and Winter's, mother, Winter's mom got into a fight while Winter was being held. If the police was called, why you wasn't, why you wasn't in jail? I really wish we could have met that November of 2022 when I called and wanted to come get winter. Because I feel because I feel like you would have seen the kind of person of me and AJ. I tell my kids that it's a small world. You don't know who know who. And I tell my kids it's a small world. You don't know who know who. If you knew, if, if I knew your name, we would not be here today. Why? The reason why I say I wish I knew I knew your name and you, you you the reason why I say I wish I knew your name and you knew mine is because I went to school with a couple of your family members. Um, that's all I did have to say, but bottom line is What I've heard, people, statements, saying a coward, a monster, killer. To me, you're none of, you meant none of that. To me, there's no word that describes that describe you. I learned that you can't hate nobody. I don't hate you, but I hate what you've done. As again, you took somebody special from me, my only grandchild. And as I see you, you only live a quarter of your life. And you have not lived life yet. You only live a quarter of your life. That's nothing. You still got a long ways to go. And I pray and pray and hope you get the help that you need. And I want to apologize to the court from the last time, last session we had for my outburst. Um, but that's all I have to say. Thank you.